can you tell us a little bit about like what type of housing do you plan to bring into uh, its Coventry and into the Coventry market? Sure. So we look at Coventry, it's Kent County. We mm -hmm. look at it in aggregate. You know, we have Warwick, uh, East Greenwich and Coventry. Uh, it, uh, uh, it's 170,000 people. We look at it as, as a great market. Great, again, good road network, established retail base, a lot of wealth, frankly, in, mm -hmm. in terms of uh, the, the population. And uh, we, we have our first phase consists of 350 apartments. These are apartment units. They, uh, they might be sold as condominiums uh, or they might uh, they, they most likely will be uh, be rental units. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the uh, another component there is 360 townhouse units. These are duplex um, units by and large is what we planned anywhere from 1,700 square feet up to 2,400 square feet. First, uh, first floor master, you know, one, two car garage. Uh, and it's really targeted towards that uh, empty nester, but also for the the small families starting out. You know, we'll hit those different price points that way. Uh, you know, the, the condominiums, you know, are going to be in that three hundred, four hundred thousand dollar range. The the duplex units will be in the you know six hundred, seven hundred thousand. We we feel like that's kind of the sweet spot for uh, yeah. the single family market. So last. Wednesday. Okay. So actually it's two Wednesdays ago now, uh, September 25th, the town council in Coventry, I was watching on zoom, they all voted in favor of your project and yes. part of the, the master plan approval. Okay. was also variances for parking. Mm -hmm. There were variances for, I believe sidewalks and whatnot, and that all got approved, but that I believe is only one third of the process of, of, getting the project shovel ready is that correct mm -hmm. correct it is you know the, the beginning <clears throat> and it's a conceptual plan approval essentially the project was grandfathered for for development there was mm -hmm. a master plan that was put together in 2004 when the project was originally approved mm -hmm. so that um going through this uh, conceptual plan master plan process with the town affirmed uh the our base density and uh, it was a fresh traffic uh, study. So the result was the town approved our plan. Mm -hmm. uh, they liked our approach. When we, we got involved, uh, there were seven properties that were up for sale. And, and we, we worked with the receiver to put all the properties under contract, under a purchase agreement. Mm -hmm. So then we could work all the properties uh, in a comprehensive manner and, and, and look uh, fresh eyes on the utilities, traffic, uh, land use, stormwater management, all those good things had to be really done um, comprehensively, which is what we were able to do. So this is our first phase. We do have other uh, several other properties that, uh, you know, we're not quite ready to um, to uh, get into production. But this phase kicks us off in, in a big way. It's about 80 acres of land, um, and it's well suited for, uh, for housing uh, development. Sure. Two weeks ago, we closed on uh, two parcels on uh, Center of New England Boulevard. Mm -hmm. They are retail commercial uh, properties where uh, Walmart, BJ's, and Home Depot are. That um, that that did close, and it it, um, it affirmed our interest and in our commitment to to Coventry. One of the sales that ha occurred last fall was uh, ten acres to an apartment builder mm -hmm. uh, right across the street from Walmart, and it was it was uh, the, uh, the second phase of a housing project that this individual developer had built in two thousand eight. That was. Too. Uh, that was a, a sign that the receiver was open for business and that we could transact. Uh, our concern and the concern of the market was, is there anything to be done here? And is there any, um, is, there, is there a deal to be had? And I think it had, you know, the property had been in the market for six years mm -hmm. with uh, Cushman Wakefield's affiliate, uh, Hayes and Sherry here mm -hmm. in Providence. You know, it's a little bit like uh, the home that you're you're, you're selling a uh, single family home. Um, if it's been on the market a long time, it, you know, it gets uh, it gets tainted. It gets shop worn. Why isn't it sold? Mm -hmm. Exactly. We we looked at it and said, what's wrong? What's wrong with this picture? You know, a great location right off Interstate 95. You got all the retail there and the amenities um, and a great, you know, great housing market. You know, we didn't see a problem. Mm -hmm. you know, we saw we saw problems that needed to be solved, but uh, we saw opportunity uh, for um, for housing. Do you have an estimate of, of an estimated time, uh, and I know it might be a little hard to say, of when you think that these lots, when, mm -hmm. when they're going to be shovel ready for the 700 mm -hmm. plus residential units? So the master plan process was the first step. We were fortunate to get through that process in, mm -hmm. in, uh, in short order. We have a great uh, team, uh, legal and civil, Dupree Engineering, been around the state for decades 
and Darrow Everett on the legal side. And they were able to navigate the process for us, you know, very efficiently. And, and we're on to uh, preliminary engineering and final engineering for the individual sites. That process ex is expected to take um, eight to 10 months and we should be paving and moving dirt in a year from now, yeah. we, we hope, uh, you know, next, next summer, mm -hmm. if possible. We do have hurdles to cross with permitting, um, with the DEM, and these are former sand and gravel operations that, oh, sure. uh, you know, that, that need work, but we don't see anything that uh, we can't handle. Mm -hmm.